Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to use a green screen with Mix It Up. So what you do, um, you'll open up Mix It Up, you'll be to a page like this. What you want to do then is head to settings in the top right corner and come on down to where it says overlay. So you'll open up in general, you'll come on down to overlays and what you want to do, I've obviously already got mine here, but if you just type in green screen um, and then click add, you'll it'll cop up with a page like this. Uh, so you want to copy that. And then you want to grab your OBS. So I'll just pull my OBS over here. It looks a bit weird because we're recording, but just look at the bottom of the screen here. Um, so then you want to add it as a browser. Um, and then 1920 by 1080 as always, and then call it Mix It Up Green Screen. So where the magic happens is you right click, you click on filters, and then what you want to do is add a effect filter, which is a chroma key. So all you do is click the plus here and then click chroma key. And on that, you want to make sure that it's green. As you can see, I had other settings for blue, magneta, and then you can do a custom one as well. And I've set them up as loads of different videos have loads of different backgrounds. So it's a good way Way to be able to cover all videos with all backgrounds and to get everything working. I thought it was important to add on at the end here as I didn't really explain in the middle. It's important to have um, all these different sources for your different colors of animations in your mix it up. So obviously you grab them all from here but what's very important about it is so if we went down to events uh, you make your twitch events whatnot um, and then they all play through those different sources. Um, so because you've got your filters on you use them as a target on mix it up. So let me just quickly show you um, when you make an alert. So say someone's sub with a prime here, I've got the overlay image going to green screen because it's got a green screen background. And this is where you select where you want the alert to go to. So you have to make sure you, it's very important that you do that each time so that they go to the right area and so the alert doesn't come up with a green background or if you've just got a standard background and you don't want a back green screen you don't want it to go to the green screen background because it'll make the image go all funny good luck user mix it up